Left side. Play action. And McCarron's going to roll and dump it off. And Inside handoff. And LSU knew the run was coming. Just down at the top of your screen, number seven. Third down. Matthew trying to get in. He's picked up. That puts Simon at one of the corners. First down and ten. Incomplete. Passes on those first downs. Trying to break tendencies. This time. And they were running. And it was read perfectly by the first golden opportunity of this championship. And on first down, McCarron got time, comes in. Jim McElwain from the pistol. Richardson has jumped in the backfield. Big formation on second down and goal. McCarron's getting time incomplete. It'll McCarron checks to the right. Pump fake going to get hit from behind on the throw and gets it off in time onto the field. And this has been a kind of a reoccurring theme for Alabama this year when they got into the red zone. Back and again they keep the field spread. And in trouble, slips a tackle. And it will be incomplete. Running back. There's a penalty flag on this play. Lacey trying to get the left end. Wide receivers now. Play action. McCarron on the roll, going to drop it off to Smelly. One of those tight ends is off to the right. Kenny Bell is number seven. Play action. McCarron left open, takes off and slides. Because they're mixing up the play calling, what has happened is I think LSU has lost some of their aggression. And I think the pass protection has been out. Pressure from the linebackers and Lacey not going to... Play action to Richardson, coming in underneath that. Injured on a punt return. Second down and 10. Here is the handoff to Richardson. From the left hash. Blocked. And that excites the... Great left hand by number 90. Those two. The field is spread to the right. Richardson with his first reception coming out of the backfield. And out it down and six. And here's Richardson hit in the backfield for a loss that time. Be able to make plays. Richardson around the right side finds a hole and steps in. Watch Norwood and Smelly sustain their blocks 87 and 17. Not only do they lock on, and Adams does it. Lacey is written down short of the first down. He's involved here, love this shot here, but watch Kiki Mingo. He's known as a pass rush expert, but this time gets involved in run support. This time he beats the block of the big tight end, Underwood, and gets involved to push Eddie Lacey back. So Dick Saban coming right back with Jeremy Shelley. Richardson, you saw the picture, check back in. McCarron on first down, drops off the screen pass to his running back, and he's down at the third passing yards. That's not going to get it done. Mm -mm. Richardson, short of the Dope Walker Award winner this year. Third down and two. It's a shot, and he's got the first down. He has a territory, and you're right. He's been checking out of the lineup. First down, McElwain going to go airborne again. Tried to drop it to Smelly. LSU. McCarron on the move. Throws on Smelly. Flex over to the right side of the offensive line. And McCarron on first down has been a threat. They're only at the 23 when he stepped out of bounds. So a little bit shy of. And he likes what he sees with McCarron throwing deflected. And up by four field goals. McCarron going to go deep. Caught. And he's not stopping. Now McCarron rolls. Defense. And they'll run against it with Richardson. And he is jumped. And it will be A.J. McCarron. This time handy to Richardson.
Lacey again to the middle. And again, he's breaking to the second level. This time he's going is starting to take an effect on the LSU defense's psyche. He breaks through that potential arm tackle by Anthony Johnson, the true freshman. And he'll come again with Lacey. Can't get the corner. Gonna be thrown for a loss. Norwood has been big tonight. Play action. McCarron fight. AJ McCarron hands and the Saban gang goes to work on the clock. Working on the clock with Richardson. You team and a gentleman off. First down and ten. Richardson on a bit of a delay. A sophomore. Now they come back with the Dope Walker Award winner, and he stays in bounds too. Jim McElwain calling the plays, hammering away at the clock right now. And Richardson breaks free on the sideline. End zone. How a great gravelly voice. Would he love this? Here comes Lacey now working on the clock. On that one for Brent Peace, that's a pretty good tug of war to be involved in. Oh, isn't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> Is he an off here, Herbie? 